Hey, what is up, guys? Akhil here, back with another video, and today we're gonna take a look at the opto coupler, or you may also call it as an opto isolator. We will see what these things do, the different types of opto couplers, the applications of opto couplers. We will also take a look at the specifications of different types of opto couplers. So let's get started. <laughs> So as the name suggests, the optocoupler or the opto isolator somewhat uses light for coupling or isolating two different circuits. So let's see what isolation is. So this is a AC real, uh, a Wi-Fi controlled relay switch circuit. Uh, so here you may see between two lines there are gaps. These are called isolations which isolations which are used for uh, preventing sparks between two high voltage rails similarly you can see isolation cut slot over here over here and over here also and over here also so this is what isolation in electrical terms means now opto isolator doesn't mean that you're uh, isolating two different optical sources no 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 it is that you are uh, isolating two different parts of the circuit using opto electronics so uh, what basically this has is let us see so um, this is say a circuit part 1 c1 and let us say this is c2 circuit part 2 now this may uh, this part of the circuit may uh, use some voltage v and this may use some voltage v2 say this is v1 these V may be very different like this would be DC and this would be AC. So how do we link these? We need to link these two circuits and some do something. So here comes in the role of something like an opto isolator or an opto coupler. Simple as that. So what this does is a basic block diagram of this consists of an LED which is a light emitting LED or an infrared light emitting led so it is an ired we may say so this emits light and there are there is some kind of photosensor which senses this light so this is combined in a package and the photosensor senses this light and gives a differential output so that is what an optocoupler or an opto isolator basically is so there are different types of opto couplers or opto isolators currently present depending on their internal structure so we see the types of opto couplers so first one is the phototransistor based opto coupler so uh, in all of the four uh, op types of opto couplers you will see that the led the ired or the led is common so in pins one and two one and two one and two there is a light emitting diode which emits light inside the package itself so because it's an infrared led and also as the package of these is sealed so you cannot see the led or the or the light when you connect these to the circuit but there is light trust me on that so when we do that and uh, on the output side these types of ocs are different so the first one is the photo transistor type, the photo Darlington transistor type, the photo triac type and the photo SCR type. Let's see how these are different. So here we have a transistor. So you might have seen a normal transistor, but this is a photo transistor. So the base, the base is controlled by the light. So according to the amount of light, this LED or the IRED emits and this base receives according to that and the current flowing between those depends on the base of the transistor or the photo transistor now this base is but connected optically not electrically optically connected to the diode similarly here we have a pair of transistor this is a normal transistor and this is a darlington trans uh, a photo transistor and these are combined in a darlington combination to increase the overall gain of the transistor so a small amount of light falling on this photo transistor will emit some current from this emitter to this base of the normal transistor and this will in overall create a good amount of gain for the second transistor 
now the third one is the photo triac so in the photo triac type there is a triac at the output now all of these combinations you may see will have the third pin but this doesn't in general so uh, this is the photo triac and there is a triac at the output similarly there is a photo scr one where there is a scr at the output so the scr is a silicon control resistor and this is a triac uh, you may see one of my videos on the track i'll put it in the links below the i button above so these two are generally used in dc circuits and these two are generally used in alternating current circuits and uh, again you may see that this is this is and this and also this these two parts of the circuits aren't connected electrically anyways there are optically coupled so there is no connection between these two so these are the types of the opto couplers that uh, are basically majorly used now coming back to the uh, normal use case scenario of the opto couplers now i pulled out these two opto couplers from my roar of components this one is the moc3021 which is a photo triac type and this is the pc817 switching back to the uh, types of the opto couplers i'll tell you the uh, major use parts the photo transistor is the pc817 photo darlington are the, these are parts number so 4n32 or 4n33 uh, for the photo triac one moc3021 or un35 uh, for the photo scr one there's moc 3071 or 3072 MOC is the family for AC uh, octocouplers and you will find 4N is for the DC optocouplers and also PC is for DC optocouplers now you may also see this mark which I have mentioned in these three optocouplers this is sixth pin which is used for reducing the noise in the circuits so I'll explain how this happens is when you want to make a type of a trigger based circuit wherein this led triggers a voltage and this gets an output but there is a possibility that that there will be noise due to noise this circuit might get triggered so this pin is generally connected inside of the optocoupler to a ground or a different uh, voltage level signal but here it is accessible from outside also so you might connect it according to your needs to eliminate the noise so for example there is this signal and there is a little bit of noise so if you have it connected to this and there is noise the noise will also trigger the output but if you set this to somewhere here then if there is noise it won't get triggered for the output but the real input will trigger the output so that is the sixth pin use but not here so trap for young players check this out so now coming back again to these two which i am using currently the moc 3021 and the pc817 let's see the basic uh spec sheet So here you may see that on the left side I have the uh, data sheet for the P PC817 and on the right side I have the data sheet for the MOC302122 or 23. Uh, the sh this PC817 was of Sharp and this is of Farnell earlier known as Fairchild Semiconductors. So on the first page itself it says a photocoupler for the PC817 and it says an opto isolator triac based opto isolator for the MOC31 and uh, it contains an IRED optically coupled to a photo transistor so the IRED I already told you that is the infrared emitting device uh, the, the the main spec thing here we see on the PC817 is collector emitter voltage is 80 volts and over here in, compared we see it's 400 volts peak so we see that there is already some power game coming here whereas this is for a little bit low powered although 80 volts isn't less but yes you should use pc817 for dc while you will use uh, this for ac purposes now comparing more uh, specs for the pc817 
with the MOC 3021, we also see the applications right away. It says 115 or 240 volts VAC applications, whereas there was no role of VAC over in the PC817 data sheet. It says solenoid or valve control. It says AC power switches, interfacing microprocessors, 215 volts AC peripherals. Also, now to the main specs, the reverse voltage for this is 6 volts, whereas this is 3 volts. So you might be able to uh, use the PC817 with a 5 volt logic level, whereas you will have to step down uh, the voltage for using with MOC3021 as it has only 3 volts as the input voltage for the LED driving purposes. The output current here is 50 milliamperes. 50 milliamperes. Yes, that's correct. Only 50 milliamperes. So we use it for DC purposes. Whereas for the MOC3021, the output terminal voltage is 400 volts. Yes, 400 volts. And the current rating over here is 1 amp. That is pretty much fine. So, but you might use some boosting circuits after that. These were the data sheets. Now, checking out the cost for these. So, I have this open on AliExpress. So, the cost of the MOC3021 for 10 pieces is like a dollar. And for the same dollar, you can get 50 pieces of the PC817. Now, agreed that this works only on DC and this will work on AC as well. But, yeah, PC817 is like cheap. Like, it's like cheaper like transistors when this is a little bit costly. But, yes. This is a real life saver. Literally, you can save lives while uh, putting opto isolators and opto couplers in proper AC circuits. Now, let's move on to the applications. Uh, there's this uh, site called uh, Circuit Digest, which clearly uh, shows some good applications. Opto coupler for switching DC circuits. So, here we have a 9 volt input, and here we have a um, 5 volt thing so when you press this switch down using this optical isolator or coupler it gets switched to 5 volts so when you're pressing this the input is applied here a good voltage level like 3 or 5 volts is applied over here uh, which turns the transistor on because transistor is used here as a switch which turns this on and this further will turn this on and there will be current flowing and that's it now this is basically as a switch so suppose there's a load over here it gets switched down here and uh, moving to the next application optocoupler for detecting ac voltage so here there's an ac voltage when you press the switch on if there's ac voltage flowing through this then there the led will switch on in turn turning on the transistor and there will be a voltage out uh, the third application you'll see is optocoupler for controlling ac circuit using dc voltage so this is what majorly the uh, optocoupler is used with the bt136 i'll link down my video on the bt136 for the similar application down below you might see it and uh, using an optocoupler on an isolator before that will be a lifesaver for your circuit as well as for people here when you press the switch uh, the led gets activated this gets on and so on this triac gets on and the ac lamp also switches on now moving back to the sheet you after after learning about this thing you might say that why not i use a relay circuit instead of all this complicated although it's not complicated but why not use a relay circuit for the same thing Relay does the same thing by controlling uh, high voltage AC appliances as the optocoupler and the triac combination in the application did. But it will only do it for on and off. So what I mean to say is when you need, so this is the bulb. Okay. I should have drawn it with yellow, but okay, fine. So this is the bulb and you have a microcontroller. Okay, this has a logic level of 5 volts, but this bulb has a voltage level of 220 volts. 
so now there needs to be an interface between these two you may say that we'll use a relay fair enough but could you can you dim this uh, bulb using the relay no you cannot so if the microcontroller provides a logic 1 or a logic 0 then this uh, bulb turns on or off but if your microcontroller suppose if only if gives an analog voltage can the relay work on it no it will still if you apply a relay what a relay will do will switch it on for some time and switch it off for some time depending on a schmidt trigger like base circuit so it will turn this on for this time and switch it off for the rest of the time but instead if you use an optocoupler plus an scr you can get a same type of voltage for 220 volts and your bulb the light bulb you want to switch on or dim you can do it so the microcontroller will give a clean analog wave and your bulb will replicate the same clean analog wave but for a higher level voltage so that is what you can do with the optocoupler i'll put in the links down below for the optocouplers i have mentioned and for other parts you might need be interested in so if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel if you haven't till now thanks for watching this is akash signing off